Hey guys, Rolando from Rev Moto. So today we're going to be working on this beautiful 2019 Hyundai Sonata. Yeah, Sonata. I was mistaken with Sonata and the Alonso together. But this one's going to be the Hyundai Sonata rear bumper removal and installation. If you guys like this video, go ahead and like, subscribe, and turn on that push notification. And also, if you guys need any prepaid auto body parts for your car, go to revmoto.com, your prepaid auto body parts source. And if you guys need this bumper, color match shipped right to your door and ready for you guys to install with the help of this video go to redmoto.com your pre-painted auto body parts source the link is down below and up above go ahead and get started on this video. all right so on this car right here as always we're going to start off on the side right here let's see if we oh there we go this the lighting is pretty good out here so we're gonna have these two uh, bolts right here or screws right on the bottom right there. And that's gonna be a T25. And it's gonna have one of these looking things. It's like a star looking thing. I put it in a ratchet set, but sometimes you guys have a smaller version of this. Okay, so let's see. It looks like a star. Torque space, what they call it. And then followed by these two up down here. Up here, you can barely see it because that sun. Let me see if I can focus. Uh, that didn't do anything. Well, you guys get it right here. There's gonna be a push pin right there and we take that off with a fly head screwdriver. Oh, I'm gonna show you guys how to take that off in a little bit here. And then I'm gonna have something up here, this little tiny hole, if you put your finger in there, it's a little tiny hole. And there's probably a screw in there also. All right, rock and roll. Right down here, it's gonna be a Torx bits. All right. What you guys what that looks like right there it's like a screw there's one and then there's a secondary one right here okay two all right so we got a push pin right here all right, i have this tool right here see like right there it's a panel removal tool but you guys don't need it you know so you guys can see right here if you got a flathead it's the same thing that this is this uh, tool has but this one has two of them, make it easier for me. So, uh, locate that push pin. It's right there. Very easy to take off. So what, this is what a push pin looks like, okay? And when it's depressed, it looks like that. All right, so imagine you have a fly head. See those uh, insert right there? Go ahead and take that fly head and put it in there twist it up and then you can release it okay that's one so exact same thing actually I have to take off this uh, push pin right down here so you guys can see right here there's another one right there that we have to take off so let's see if I can take it off while holding a camera Oh, expert. So that's what that push pin looks like. Now this thing kind of, see, this thing kind of goes back a little bit so we can see what that other screw is for. So I'm gonna go ahead and take this cover back. Let's see what's back there. Oh, okay. See, like there's a screw back there. I think it's gonna be a 10 millimeter. Let me just double check. All right, so if you guys push this uh, fender liner back, just like that, you reveal that bolt right there. And I think it's a 10, let me just double check. Of course it's not a 10. Actually, you can take it. This one right here, you can actually have a screwdriver take it off. So let's go ahead and push this back. All right, so that's that screw right there. All right, guys, I'm gonna go ahead and take off the other side. All right, guys, once you guys remove the uh, those bolts, the push pins on the side of the bumper. Remember, I didn't show it on video, but this one, this side also. Take the same same bolts off that you did on the other side. You're gonna go underneath the vehicle, okay? You go go underneath the vehicle. Right there in the middle, you're gonna see 
it was actually wrong it wasn't in the middle if you guys go down here on the driver's side you're gonna see this panel right here you see all these push pins right here one two i think there's only two oh, only two we gotta take those off So next step is we gotta pop that trunk right there. So on this one right here, already kind of started on it. Maybe this one, maybe this angle. Oh, this angle's better. Okay, let's go on this angle right here. So on this angle right here, what you're gonna do is gonna take off these uh, push pins right here, and then once you guys take those push pins off, you guys can actually pull this back, and there's gonna be screws back there. So I think there's four of them. And they're 10 millimeters and we take off the uh, tail light. So let's go ahead and do that now. And these things look like this right here. And then take your finger and pull this back. Just like that. Alright. So it's gonna be some screws back there. Let me show you guys that. So back here guys, you guys Back here guys, as you guys can see, there's one, two, three, three, and then right back there, you guys can see there's the fourth one. Okay, that's gonna be a 10 millimeter. We go ahead and take that off. that so you guys can see there's a plug right here go ahead and unplug that oh I'm going the wrong way so there's like a little clip right here and just press down that clip and it takes right off all right once you guys have that clip off and also those uh, bolts off go ahead and wiggle it like that and there's your tail light So you guys can see right here you're gonna have a push pin right there and a screw that looks like a you probably just use a screwdriver so use one of these unscrew it just like that this one the push pin so you know how to do it we did a few minutes ago okay push pin do that on the other side all right at this time i believe that's all we got to take off uh bolts wise and also uh push pin wise so we're gonna go to one side remember you guys have these uh, sensors right all these sensors right here so you don't want to pull too hard because if you pull too hard you might actually yank the uh the wire off and that's gonna cost you more problems. So, so you already at this moment, let's go ahead and gently pull right here. You're gonna hear a click, so a little bit of force, but not too much. There we go. dangling we're gonna go to the other side and do the same exact thing so let me go double check maybe I'm missing something what we are missing so let me show you guys what it is 
All right, so underneath right here, guys, so you guys can see that cover right there. I'm gonna go ahead and take this off right here. It's gonna be a 10 millimeter. Let me see if I can take it off while filming. Yes, I can. All right, as you guys can see, we took off that cover right there. Not completely, but loose enough for us to go underneath the vehicle. So we're gonna scoot over here and we're actually gonna go behind the bumper. If you guys go behind the bumper, you see my flashlight. But if you guys go right here, see right there? This bracket right here has a push pin. Oh. This bracket right here has a push pin that we gotta take off. So let's go ahead and do that. Try to film it while removing this push pin. Oh, see? It came off. See how the push pin came off? Right there. So there's two of them. I'm gonna take that off. Okay, so do that on the other side also. Alright guys, take two. Let's see. Should come right off. Okay, it's not coming right off. Okay, there must be So what it is, it's like the middle piece is just stuck on there pretty well. So what I did was, this bracket right here holds it on really tight. So I just put my fingers and come over here and I just loosen it up like that. Like that. Of course I gotta loosen it this side. What's happening is that this thing is actually hooked on. This bumper is uh, held on by a bracket. So let's see what that looks like. So if you guys come in back here, you see right there? That thing right there is holding your bumper. the other side but I learned see see right there there's a screw and there's a plug right there so you unscrew that and the bumper come off screwdriver long enough to go all the way down there so there's a screw right here Let's go ahead and take off. Okay. Let this dangle. So now that we unscrew that, I'm gonna go ahead and Right here on the yeah, right here. There's gonna be a plug that we just need to 
fork like you gotta take off all these plugs right here. Alright guys, so they go the rear bumper off of that Sonata, but let me show you guys, man, this bumper is tricky. So, there's going to be a plug right here, just kind of unplug, and I believe it's this one right here, and you just push this tab down, and you unplug it. So for the sensors right here, all you have to do is come back here and you press up on this one and press down on this one and you pull the uh, sensor off okay so you can do that on every single one of those there's a plug for this one right here and a plug right here and that's for the lights for the license plate and again you have a plug right here and you can unplug that one right there for the uh, sensor so here's the problem right so you guys can see i broke it the reason i broke it is because it's in there and it won't release itself so it's like gripped on there really tight so what i did was i came here and unscrewed it and this whole bracket came off but you also have to take off this plug so actually what you need to do is get something to unplug it like this see just hold on like that then go ahead and unscrew it and that's the best method for this thing as you guys can see this thing not to break and that's the reason why it has that groove right there and there's one on this side and then on this side i took off okay so those are the things that's holding it back and then also if you guys look down here if you guys look down here there's these brackets right here right and that's what i was trying to show you guys these things held these push pins Let me see these push pins like this that was like sitting on top like this so you gotta have a fly head to wedge this thing up and those then it'll disconnect and you can take this off okay and uh, that thing is held on on the bumper by these things so you guys can see that's the lower piece of the bumper. All right, guys, I do apologize. I know in the beginning of the video, I said it's gonna be a removal and installation of this rear bumper. But unfortunately, I can't install it because I forgot this bumper has to go back for repairs on that side. So I'm gonna send it down, repair it, and then uh, put this back on. So on this video, I'm gonna go ahead and tell you guys, thank you guys for watching. If you guys have any questions comment down below but to reinstall this bumper if you guys are watching this video just do the same steps backwards okay it's pretty simple right but again thank you guys for watching if you guys need any free paint auto body parts go to redmoto.com your free paint auto body parts source go ahead and comment down below if you have any questions okay i'll answer all those for you